Is the red pill the ultimate truth serum for modern men or a one-way ticket to a life of anger and bitterness? Ever hear someone talk about being red pilled? It's like that moment in The Matrix when Neo has to choose between the red pill and the blue pill. But what happens when this movie idea steps into real life? It's not just cool movie stuff, it changes how people see the world. But hey, what if this idea is actually messing things up more than it's helping? Let's find out what this red pill thing is really all about. It's tossed around a lot in online chats, maybe even at your local bar. And while it sounds like a deep truth, it could be leading folks astray. Today we're going to explore why this popular concept might not be as helpful or as enlightening as it seems. The red pill idea has become a big deal for many, like a secret truth about how society really works. Some people say it shows how men are getting a bad deal today and how things like feminism are too controlling. This idea has spread all over the internet, grabbing the attention of folks who feel left out or ignored by today's world. But where did this all come from? It started with movies like The Matrix, but now it's everywhere online, pulling in people who feel lost. It's like they found a community that gets them, where they can speak their minds without feeling judged. The red pill claims to wake people up, but what if it's actually putting up walls? Let's unpack this and understand what red pill is really all about. The red pill is a process, a process of understanding and accepting reality, a process of fully integrating reality. It is not just swallowing the red pill, but also digesting it fully. But sometimes the red pill gets stuck in the throat. Instead of benefiting from the red pill, it becomes an irritant, a problem instead of a solution. Some think that the red pill leads to embittered men who blame women for everything wrong in their lives. It is true that many men who start down the path of red pill philosophy end up angry and embittered, but that is because those men have not fully integrated red pill philosophy into their worldview. They have not fully swallowed the red pill and have not followed through in truly understanding red pill philosophy. They see the red pill as an easy fix rather than a difficult journey to enlightenment. Why do some people really get into the red pill idea? It's not just random. It's because they feel overlooked or powerless. When changes in society make people uncomfortable or scared, they might turn to ideas that promise easy answers or someone to blame. They think Red Pill offers a way to make sense of their frustrations by pointing fingers at modern changes like how men and women are supposed to act. For some, it's more than just a response to change. It's a reaction that can get pretty intense. People start seeing enemies everywhere, in the media, in schools, even in their own homes. While it might feel good to think you've got it all figured out, this kind of thinking can lead you down a pretty dark path. It makes you see conflict instead of conversation and division instead of diversity. Many grab onto the idea of red pill as an easy fix, not understanding that it is really a journey and journeys are not always easy. When the red pill gets stuck in a guy's throat, they can see the world as being full of hidden enemies. This isn't just harmless chatter. These beliefs can push people to take extreme actions. It's like they're fighting a war against a world that's changing. Some guys get so wrapped up in these ideas that they isolate themselves, only talking to others who agree with them. This can lead to real problems, not just arguments online, but broken relationships, lost jobs, and sometimes <laughs> even violence. It's scary to think that ideas from a movie could lead to such serious stuff. But that's the power of belief, especially when you end up thinking you're right and everyone else is wrong. If we really think about it, the red pill philosophy is a bit like old stories where heroes discover hidden truths. However, life isn't a story and simple answers often miss the mark. It is a mistake to think that red pill philosophy provides easy answers. Human behavior is complicated. 
We're influenced by our biology, sure, but also by our experiences, our culture, and our personal choices. Saying there's only one way to be a man or one way to be strong doesn't really fit with what we know about how people really are. We all have different strengths and challenges, and that's okay. It's what makes us human. Shouldn't we be trying to understand each other better instead of pushing everyone to be the same? Maybe it's time to put away simple labels and start appreciating the complicated, interesting people we all are. Those who have only partially integrated red pill philosophy have renounced women and society at large, but don't have anything to replace it with, are left angry and bitter. It changes how they interact with everyone, a family, friends and others. It can turn every relationship into a struggle, a competition to be the real man or to prove who's in charge. That's no way to build a life or a society. We all lose when we see each other as opponents instead of as partners. On a larger scale, when lots of people start thinking this way, it pulls us apart instead of bringing us together. Those who have not fully integrated the red pill, those with it stuck in their throats, think it offers a simple solution to everything. But life's not simple. It's messy, confusing, and beautiful because of all that mess. Real wisdom isn't about finding one big truth that explains everything. It's about learning how to live well in a world that doesn't always make sense. They try to make everything black and white, but life is full of colors. By embracing that complexity, we can find better ways to be ourselves and to connect with others. You know you have fully integrated the red pill, that you have fully digested it when you fully accept the truths it reveals. Where there is anger, there is not yet an understanding or acceptance of reality. Men who have fully integrated the red pill are better able to navigate relationships, especially with women. If there is anger and bitterness, then the red pill journey is not complete. So let's wrap up by asking whether the red pill is the ultimate truth, serum for modern men, or a one-way ticket to a life of anger and bitterness. The answer is both. It all depends on whether you fully digest the red pill and gain a better understanding of today's reality, Oregon, whether the red pill gets stuck in your throat. Red pill is a journey, not a simple, easy answer to life's complex problems. True understanding comes from embracing life's messiness and listening to each other, not from finding a secret key.